We have some social media questions. Okay. At Jules Specs, what's your favorite thing about having a brother who's also on Broadway? Uh, we get to share and lament <laughs> um, through the the good the good and the bad. You know, I think it's uh, it's hard being a sometimes it's hard being a Broadway um, actor. Sometimes it's amazing, but um, we have uh, trials and tribulations, and it's just great to be able to have someone that's family so that we can. Um, Are you married? I'm engaged. Uh huh. And is he in the business? He's a writer. He's a, and he's a, um, a Hollywood guy. Do you want to be a mom? I would love to be a mom. I got to find time. <laughs> <laughs> At Morg SSK, what's your favorite part of the role of Violet? Um, favorite part of Violet is that she's messy. She's, she's not, um, she's got sharp edges and she's, um, she's ugly. She's messy. She's, she makes good choices. She makes bad choices. She's real. She's um, uh, she's searching, uh, and uh, there's. It's great to be able to play a character that isn't all smiles and um, and and sunshine. Do you have to like her? Do I have to yeah, like her? Yeah. Do you have to like? I do like her, which is helpful. It's interesting. I have played characters that I haven't necessarily liked, and I've had to learn how to like them. But it's it's interesting to to play, it's actually interesting for me as someone who is a um, people pleaser to uh, play a character that is, um, that doesn't always say the right thing. Mm, I get it. Uh, at Me La Me 99, what's your favorite song in Violet? In Violet, my favorite song in Violet, um, probably Bring Me to Light, which is our finale. At Wannabelle's, any weird pre-show ritual? Oh, um, I always have to have, I'm addicted to this, um, this tea. I drink this honey loquat um, syrup, and I drink that every, I drink a cup of it every show. So I, I warm up from like 7 to 7.15. I get my honey. I go downstairs. I get my hot water. I go visit the musical director on stage, and then I come back to my room. So it's like a little, I do a little parade around you the theater. You drink it again at intermission? We don't have an intermission. It's straight through? Straight through. I have one break break in the show for about five minutes, and then I, wow. then I pee. Uh, one of us also wants to know, if you weren't an actress, what would you be? A teacher. At BBRD Photography, who are your influences? Oh, my goodness. Well, when I was growing up, it was like... Um, it was like Carol Burnett, and um, she's probably my number one. I used to, I was obsessed with the Carol Burnett show. Have you ever met her? Yeah. She's a great girl. Amazing. The best. Yeah, just kind of like, I'm just in awe. Um, so she's probably my number one. Number At uh, A.M. Greenberg, what's the most rewarding thing about performing in Violet? Um, just telling a simple story, a, telling a beautiful story so simply, and having audiences respond the way they've been responding. KMAC 23, first thing you do when you walk off stage after a performance? I take off my mic tape and my mic out of my hair. Your mic in your hair? There's a, I wear my mic um, woven up through my hair, so it sits here, and it drives me crazy, so the first thing I do is I'm like, ah, I'm out, and then I get that out, and then I drink a, a hot toddy. At Danny Casillas, what's the coolest and weirdest thing you've gotten from fans? Oh, I've gotten some pretty amazing. Uh, the fans have been like incredibly generous, especially during this show. The coolest and weirdest. They send me a lot of cookies. And I feel like I need to start saying I need more fruits and vegetables because the cookies are out of control right what now. What do they send to the theater? They yes, do. but it's awesome. They send me lots of cookies. I'm trying to think of the weirdest, the weirdest gift. They've just been very kind. Very kind and generous. At Analyst Hedda, what's the most awkward place someone has ever recognized you? <laughs> um, oh, uh, in the uh, airport bathroom, like, you know, in like the middle of, oh, actually, I know, um, it, it was at a roadside stop in, um, in California, like a place that, that uh, like a farm place on I-5 that sells a lot of beef. I know and, what you Do mean. you know what I'm talking about, that place? And I was literally sitting there waiting, we were ordering some food, and someone's like, you're Sutton Foster. I'm like, what the hell is happening? <laughs> like, I was in the middle of, like, Beef Central, and so someone recognized me. That was Thanks, weird. Thanks, Sutton. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, babe. 
Watch new episodes of Larry King Now, Monday through Thursday, on demand on Hulu and Aura.tv.